Several of you commented in my last video that the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is a downgrade from last year's S7 Max V Ultra, and in a few ways I feel it is, and in other ways it's a big step forward. My name is Jamie Andrews, and today we are going to compare the differences between the S7 Max V Ultra, released in 2022, to the newest from Roborock, the S8 Pro Ultra. Put them in a head-to-head -head endurance test, and give you my likes and dislikes. Before we dive in, if you want to see a full review of the S8 Pro Ultra, I will leave a link to my video above and below in the description. Let's begin by looking at the differences in the robots themselves. The S8 Pro Ultra can be purchased in white or black, where the S7 Max V only comes in black. The bigger changes come from the underside where the S7 series has a single vibrating mopping plate, where the S8 Pro now has Vibrize 2.0, which includes two vibrating plates. When it comes to removing the mopping plate, it is easy to do on the S7 Max V, but on the S8, well, sadly you can't. To remove the mopping pad, you must first remove the robot from the dock, flip it over, and slide the mopping pad off. Interestingly, it appears the robot is not aware the pad has been removed, meaning you could still send it off to wash the mopping pad and mop your floors without one attached, so just be careful. The S7 Max V will tell you in the app when the mopping plate has been removed. The S8 Pro Ultra has a 6000 Pascal rated vacuum system, an increase of 900 Pascals over the S7 Max V, a dual roller brush system that now has the ability to lift completely off the floor when traveling to and from the dock and while mopping. The roller brushes look to be very similar to the older S7 design, but they are not compatible as the ends are entirely different. Up front, we notice the bottom charging contacts are now gone, and that is because the S8 Pro can only be purchased with the Ultra Dock which does not use the bottom charging contacts. The wheels are about a half an inch wider on the S8 Pro, which should help with traction. The side spinning brush is now a rubber and bristle design instead of the older all rubber one, which had a bad habit of getting tons of hair wrapped around it. I have yet to clean hair off of the new side brush. Another big change is around front with the obstacle avoidance system. The older system is called Reactive AI, and it includes a color camera with lasers to not only avoid objects in your home, but also to identify them in the app with photos. This system would allow you to view the camera through the app, and it includes two-way audio, which is a neat feature. It has an LED fill light to help the camera see in low-light situations. On the S8 Pro, we now have Reactive 3D, and gone is the color camera, which is replaced with a low-light IR camera that removes the need for that LED fill light. It does still have lasers to assist with object avoidance, but sadly gone is the ability to see photos of objects it avoided in the app, and missing is the ability to view the camera's video feed in the app with two-way audio. I use this on the S7 Max V to check in on my pets when I'm gone from the house. Around back, the S7 Max V has a 200 milliliter removable water tank, and while the S8 Pro retains the same size tank, it is now integrated into the robot. Under the lid, at first glance, the dust bins appear to be similar. However, the S8 Pro has a dust bin that is 50 milliliters smaller in size than the S7 Max V's 400 milliliter dust bin. Interestingly, it appears the S7's dustbin does fit into the S8, although I would not advise you doing so as the fit is not perfect. I must also mention the cool multifunction multicolor LED light on the front is now gone. That LED light changes color based on what the robot is doing, and while not extremely functional, it gives the robot a unique and premium feel. The new Ultra Dock is all upgrade without any perceived downgrades. You can see they made some aesthetic changes to the dock to cover up the water tanks. The dock itself is also about an inch taller. The clean water tank is now 3.5 liters, an increase of 0.5 liters, and the dirty water tank is 2.9 liters, an increase of 0.4 liters. 
Roborock also redesigned the water tank lids and handles as the older design was a bit awkward to use at times. Another upgrade is the Ultra Dock now includes an integrated dryer for the mop. While you can add a dryer onto the older dock, it must be purchased separately and in my testing it did not dry the pads as quickly. One thing that makes the new dock incompatible with the S7 Max V is the opening for the dual extraction port to accommodate those dual rollers. And yes, I did test this out. The mop washing system is unchanged except for Roborock redesigned the dock's water drain filter so you now can separate it to clean it. I found the dock performance to be just as good if not better than the old dock and could not find a single reason the older dock is better than the new one unless you really prefer the old look. Rubberock updated the app with several smart changes. The S8 Pro Ultra now has a fast cleaning mode which will allow you to clean the common areas in a room, speeding up the cleaning process by roughly 30% or more, although strangely you cannot select this mode when creating a scheduled cleaning. In the menu, we see a few less options for obstacle avoidance like AI environment recognition, photos, and the fill light. Under carpet settings, we now have a puzzling option to avoid carpets. I say it's puzzling because it states it will avoid carpets when the mop bracket is attached. However, it's not possible to detach the mop bracket, unlike the S7 Max V. If you select this option, it will avoid carpets, but since it always has the mopping plate attached, it will avoid carpets even in vacuum only mode. And yes, I tried it with the mopping pad removed and the results were the same. Next, we have a floor cleaning setting that allows the robot to clean in the direction of your floors. This is helpful for people with wood floors. A new offline map feature is also very clever and will show you where your robot was last located if it were to go dead somewhere in your house. When the robot is cleaning, you now have a progress bar that goes along the bottom, although I found it is not too accurate. On the add-on dock dryer for the S7 Max V Ultra Dock, you have a button to push which would manually turn on or off the dock dryer, and now that is accessible from the app on the S8 Pro Ultra. Both systems will automatically start a drying after a mop washing though. Moving on to the head-to-head -head endurance test where things get, well, let's say, a very interesting. Starting with the mopping test, I used baked on hot sauce on my tile floor. Both robots were set to deep plus mopping mode with the highest water output level, and the results were unexpected. So unexpected that I ran the test three times to verify my results were accurate. After one pass, the S7 Max V cleared 85% of the stain, and the S8 Pro only cleared 60% as shown here. After two passes, the S7 Max V easily cleared 100% of the hot sauce, and the S8 was able to clear almost all of it, some calling it 98%. I really expected the dual vibrating mopping plates to outperform the S7 Max V in this test. The only thing that I can figure is the downward pressure on the S7 Max V must be greater. The total square inches of vibrating mopping pad is only 0.5 inches larger than that of the S7 Max V, so I'm not so sure the dual plates are helping that much. Here are the measurements of each pad surface in case you are interested. Maybe things will improve with the tile vacuum test, where I scatter 130 grams of cat litter on my tile floor and send both robots out for a single pass in max plus vacuum mode. With the increased suction of the S8 Pro, the dual rollers, I expected it to be a clear winner, but it was not. The S7 Max V cleared 127 grams, or 97%, while the S8 Pro only cleared 120 grams or 92 percent which by itself is not a bad score but in comparison it's not ideal i suspect this might be due to the dual roller brush design as the rollers turn large gaps form between the rollers which will reduce the effectiveness of that increased suction in the next test we have the carpet pickup test 
where I scatter 54 grams of rice on medium pile carpet and send the robots out in max plus vacuum mode. I expected the S8 Pro to shine in this test with a dual roller system and thankfully it did pull out a win in this category, picking up 53 grams of rice or 98% compared to just 51 grams or 94% on the S7 Max V. My final test is the obstacle avoidance test where I place common objects around my living room and send both robots out to hopefully avoid the objects. To me, the most important items to avoid are the cables and the fake animal poo. Neither of these robots avoided the cables, which is nothing new. However, the S8 Pro collided with the fake animal waste, where the S7 Max V avoided it as expected. This is concerning, so I ran a separate test with both robots to show you how they differ with the fake animal waste. Now this is on carpet and the S8 Pro did avoid the fake animal waste most of the time on my tile floor, but it did not on two different carpets in my home. I have reported this to Roborock and hopefully this will be fixed in a future firmware update. After working with the S8 in my home for several months, I'm going to tell you a few things I like and dislike about the S8 Pro Ultra when compared to the older S7 Max V Ultra, starting with the dislikes this time. With the introduction of Viberize 2.0 and the dual roller brush system, I had higher expectations for these changes. While their performance alone was not bad, when you compare it to the S7 Max V, I expect it to be equal or better and certainly not worse. There's no doubt the dual rollers will be helpful for people with carpets and pets, but then why have a smaller internal dustbin? I prefer the removable mopping plate of the older series and the removable water tank, which would allow me to empty the contents if I wish. Reactive 3D is a much lesser system compared to the tech in Reactive AI, so if this along with remote viewing is important to you, take note. I get some people may have privacy concerns, but the S8 Pro still has a camera on the front even if it does delete the photos as soon as it takes them. Now for the things I like and think are a definite upgrade over the S7 Max V Ultra, starting with the Ultra Dock, which has improved in almost every single way. The included dock dryer with better performance, larger water tanks with redesigned handles and improved dock drain filter are great improvements. Looks is subjective, so I wanna know what you think. Is it just me or does the new Ultra Dock look way better than the older dock? I do like the dual roller brushes for carpets and pets, and seeing this is a new design from Roborock, I expect them to refine it over time. One of my favorite new features of the robot is for the ability for the robot to totally shut off the vacuum motor and lift the rollers off the floor when mopping. I found this led to less streaking and cleaner floors overall when I would first perform a vacuum and then send it out in mop only mode a second time. The app has some real big improvements, which I am hopeful they will get added to the S7 Max V very soon. I often get asked which one should I buy, and I hope this video will help guide you in making that right choice. The S7 Max V Ultra with the add-on dock dryer is still $100 cheaper than the S8 Pro Ultra, and it's been around long enough to have its object avoidance system refined. You can also buy the S7 Max V as a standalone robot vacuum and pair it later with either the auto empty dock or the older ultra dock. This along with it being a solid all around performing robot make it tough for me to not recommend it over the S8 Pro Ultra, with the only exception being for those with mostly carpets and pets in their home. In that case, the justification for the S8 Pro Ultra becomes more attractive. Maybe in the end, the S8 Pro Ultra should not be looked at as a replacement for the S7 Max V Ultra. After all, it is not a S8 Max V Ultra by name, but rather another choice for people who want the latest tech or who mainly have carpets in their home. One thing is for sure, Roborock leads the industry in innovation, and even with the S8 Pro Ultra's drawbacks, it still wipes the floor with the competition. It takes many hours to run these types of tests and provide this content for all of you. 
If you found this video helped you in any way, I ask that you please subscribe and hit that like button. It means so very much to me, and as always, thanks for watching, and take it easy out there. Bye-bye.